when you go to school by bicycle it takes a long time but when you go by school bus it takes a much lesser time you see that a bus moves fast whereas a cycle or say bicycle moves slow so an object which takes a longer time to cover a certain distance is said to be slow whereas an object which takes a shorter time to cover the same distance is said to be fast even the same object may move fast at one time and slow at other time for example a bus may move slowly on a busy road and faster on an empty road so you can find out whether an object is slow or fast by knowing its speed now let's see what is speed okay so the speed is most convenient way to find out which of the two or more object is moving faster okay and so here is a definition speed of a moving object is the distance traveled by it in a unit time or you can say this way also the distance covered by an object in a particular unit of time is called its speed okay so when you know the distance covered by an object and the time taken by it to cover that particular distance you can calculate the speed of that object by using the formula that is speed is equal to distance upon time that is distance traveled upon time taken let's talk about the units of speed the standard unit of distance is meter and that of time is the second so the standard unit of speed will be meter per second okay uh, the speed of fast moving objects like car trains and aeroplane is usually expressed in the unit of kilometers per hour okay for the there are mainly two kinds of speed or motions that is uniform motion and non uniform motion so when you talk about uniform motion uh, if the speed of an object is constant then we say that the object is in uniform motion okay so there what happens actually the object covers equal distance at equal interval of time okay and so we say that the object is in uniform motion in non uniform motion uh, the speed of the object keeps changing then the object covers equal distance at equal intervals or say equal distance at unequal interval of time at that moment we say that the object is in non uniform motion children when you look at the dashboard of the car you find many instruments on it speedometer is an instrument on a vehicle's dashboard which indicates the speed of the vehicle at that instant of time in kilometers per hour while odometer is an instrument which shows the distance covered by the vehicle in kilometers this meter fitted on the top of the handles of scooters and motorcycles have inbuilt speedometer and odometer the speed of a vehicle may change over a time of period due to many factors such as traffic jam heavy traffic or traffic signals therefore to calculate speed of a vehicle average speed is calculated okay and average speed is calculated by dividing the total distance covered by the total time taken by the vehicle to cover that distance 
here is the formula average speed is equal to total distance covered upon total time taken students let's see this problem rohan skates with a constant speed of 12 km per hour calculate the time he needs to travel a distance of 96 km now what has been given that rohan is uh, like skating with a constant speed speed that is 12 km per hour so speed is given that is 12 km per hour distance to be traveled is 96 km so the distance is also been given what they are asking is what is this time taken to cover a distance of 96 km so of course we need to find here the time we know the formula speed is equal to distance upon time okay so using the same formula we can find the time right so time is equal to distance upon speed so by arranging by like substituting the required values in this formula the time taken by rohan to travel a distance of 96 km is equal to 8 hours children suppose an object keeps on moving only one way along a straight line path okay when it keeps on covering equal distance in equal intervals of time its speed remains constant such a motion of an object is called uniform motion thus how you can define uniform motion an object moving along a straight line is said to be in a uniform motion if its speed remains constant for example if you see here the car is moving 4 kilometers in every 2 seconds so equal distance of 4 meter is been covered at equal interval of time that is in 2 seconds so that car or say the car here is in uniform motion on the other hand an object moving along a straight line is said to have a non uniform motion when its speed keeps changing okay so an object having a uniform motion travels unequal distances in equal interval of times or equal distances in unequal interval of time now for example if you see this example okay here the in 2 seconds 1 meter is been covered again further in 2 seconds 10 meters have been covered then further in next 2 seconds 25 meters so at equal interval of time unequal distance has been covered by the car right so this car is in non uniform motion here understood